Now you've learned how to calculate the break-even in units and in dollars for a company that sells a single product. But not many companies sell a single product. Many, most companies have a range of products. So how do we calculate the break-even for a company that sells a range of different products? Well, first of all, we must look at the sales mix. That is a relative percentage in the company that sells a product which of each unit. If a company's unit sales are 80% printers and 20% computers, its sales mix is 80-20. Now a company generally knows what kind of sales mix it has because consistently over time it will sell the same proportion of products relative to other products. So how do we do the break-even? Well, what we do is we calculate a weighted average unit contribution margin for all the products. For example, this video store sells not only camcorders but television sets and it sells the two products in the following amount, 1500 camcorders, 500 TV sets, so it's three to one. Or the sales mix can be expressed as 75%, that is 1500 divided by the total number of units, 2000. 75% camcorder, 25% sales mix. So therefore, if we want the weighted average contribution margin, then what we can do is we say, all right, if we have 75% mail mix and that, and we have a contribution margin for the camcorders of 200 and for the televisions 500, because they have different selling prices, they have different variable costs, they will have a different contribution margin. But the fixed costs are common to both camcorders and televisions. So we can't divide the fixed costs because it's common to both products what we do is we come up with a weighted average contribution margin using that information. For example, we take the contribution margin for camcorders, which is 200, and we multiply that by the percentage, 75 percent, plus the unit contribution margin for TV, which is 500, and we multiply that by its sales percentage which is 0.25 and we come up with a weighted average contribution margin of two hundred and seventy five dollars. Then when we do that we simply use that weighted average contribution margin two hundred and seventy five and divide it into the fixed costs. The fixed costs again were two seventy five $275,000 total fixed cost, so we come up with a break-even point of a thousand units. Now that's a thousand units total, and we assume the same mix, so we break it down so that 75% or 750 would be camcorders, add a total contribution measure of 1,500. 250 of the thousand would be televisions, contribution margin of that, total contribution margin. So you see the total contribution margin at this sales level with this mix is exactly equal to fixed cost, which is my break-even. Now break-even sales in dollars, well, it's the same. We just use the per contribution margin percentage instead of the contribution margin per unit. For example here, we have indoor plant division and outdoor plant division. So, um, indoor plant division, sales 200,000, outdoor 8. So you can see the total is a million, so it's 20% and 80%. The variable costs are different, of course, because they're different products. Contribution margin is different. Now, to do uh, break even with sales dollars, we need the contribution margin percentage. First of all, we have the sales mix, 20% for indoor, 80% for outdoor, and then we calculate the contribution margin ratio, that is percentage. And for indoor, it's 80,000 divided by total sales, which gives me 40%. And for outdoors, 240 divided by total sales, which gives me 30%. So therefore, on a weighted average basis, if you want 320, it'd be 32%. But 
when we calculate the ratio individually, we would have a contribution margin ratio here of 40 times the sales mix, which is 20%, plus the contribution margin ratio of 30 times the sales mix, which is 80%, and it will give us the 0 0.32, 32%. Therefore, to get the unit sales, we simply divide the fixed cost, 300,000, divided by the contribution margin ratio of 32, and I get total sales of 937,500. Keep in mind, 20% is indoor and 80% is outdoor, so I convert it back. 20% of this would be indoor plants of 187.5 and 80 percent 750. If we change the sales mix then the weighted average contribution margin changes and we would have actually a lower break-even point. That's why maintaining the sales mix is so important to companies and that's how companies want to maintain that and they will always try and push the product that has the greatest contribution margin because if they can change the mix and have a higher contribution margin product sell more, then they will profit more.